Okay, inside React.js official website, just click on this component and props. Here you can see different kind of components. Uh, the simplest way to define a component to write a JavaScript function. This is a function-based component. You can write like this. Or this is a class-based component. You can see it has a class and with the name of Welcome. Uh, that is we already made. A class based function rendering a component this is the way but we will go with another way you can you can you can read all of them to, to learn more about it now in large image lrg image here we are going to make a function based component just write import react from react okay semicolon we are going to make a function this one will be our arrow function just write l r g i n g is equal uh, parenthesis okay we need to initialize re uh, return statement r e t u r n here we are going to write our JSX code. Okay, here in large image we will have two bar. First one will be top bar and second one will be bottom bar. The in, in between them we will have a image. So bottom bar is for uh, showing the title and details about the image and drop bar is for our control like when you click on the button in our title bar for example this cross button when you click on it uh, it will be closed our large image and it will show our list of image okay for that uh, let's make a image folder just write dot lg dash img dash acl dr press tab once again and to say that i'll include the link of my css so you can download and use it inside this public folder we'll create a new folder that will be new folder i c o n i'll include the link of my icon that is svg icon Okay, below the stop bar, we'll have a image. Just write img tab. The source is will be coming from dynamically from these images. Okay, this images file. Below this, we'll have a bottom bar dot do double tom. Bottom bar greater than sign h3 dot title plus dot bscri description okay here in the title for now just write i have included this const variable uh, uh, this before this large image make sure you have this const variable and at the end i exported this arrow function okay and in the images i have imported this large image uh, just like this import large image from just write a dot forward slash it will give you the suggestion from there just write the name of your file now we are going to make a css file inside our components just write image.css 
uh, once again i am saying that you will find the css link in the description below because this is not a css tutorial so you need to import the css file here import uh, dot I-M-A-G-E-S dot CSS save it now open your browser it's saying an error okay it's giving us an error it's saying uh, this expression should not be empty so for now let's make it uh, let's make it double quotation okay later on we will change everything okay from here save it once again let me show oh it's working totally fine you see this is title and this is details of our image this is coming from img this folder okay okay we want to change the title of our project so go to index.html it is inside public folder from here just you know, just write image gallery and we want to change the background color of our whole website okay so go to index.css from here inside the body tag just write bg tab the background color will be little bit blue okay what is uh, what is this color called i don't know okay let's make it little bit blue okay navy blue once again save it it's looking perfect to me but the title color should be white okay let's change it mm, a this should be color is white and the body color also should be white e o l o okay let's see how does it look now it's perfect okay 